The beauty of using Google Sheets is that it usually does not give you a graph like this. It usually does its best to try to insert data labels and a chart title. Um, if you use Excel, this is what you get. And you have to manually go in and change the data labels. This is also why I suggest using Sheets. Um, because it's something that you can use and I can use and we'll have the same versions and we can help each other with it. So if you create a graph like this that has no data labels, if you come up here with your graph highlighted to the dot 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 and click edit chart, there's a nice little chart editor that opens up on the other side. Um, this is where you can change the chart to a bar graph if you want or a scatter plot. And remember, Google Sheets can't tell you which graph really is the best for your data. You have to determine that before you even set forward to graph. Okay, so what we want is we want to put axes titles in. And to do that, we're going to go over to the customize part of the chart editor. And here it is right here where all of the titles can be chosen. Notice how this is a drop-down box right here, and you can choose whether you want to change the chart title, which I do. I'm going to say hours versus grade, just, you know, putting it out there. Once I type that in, take a look. It actually has that on the top of my chart title. I also want to put in a horizontal axis title because I know that these would be the hours studied. Right? Without this, um, you know, without these titles, I mean, the graph could be anything like age versus shoe size or something like that. So I'm also going to put in a vertical axis title. I'm going to type that in here. That's going to be grade percentage, right? Because if I just put grade, someone might be like, wait, is that a number value or is that a percentage? What is that there? Oh, then I can erase my whole graph. So now that I have all of these titles in here, this graph is much more specific to what I was talking about, which is how many hours studied produces what kind of grade. So remember, just plotting a line on the graph, that doesn't do it. You have to be able to label the graph appropriately so that it can communicate to the reader exactly what it is that your data shows, right? And this also, having data labels on the graph, which I talk about in numerous other videos, it also makes it so you don't even have to give your reader this table of data, right? It's all right here in this graph.